Hi guys, uh, I'm Mashis here. Um, I'm a felter and felt maker and fiber artist and I teach. And today I want to show you a little, um, I don't want to say it's not a full class or something like that, but it's my Christmas gift to you and to all my friends and to all my students. Um, and maybe you can make something with your hands and give to your, your friends and uh, your colleagues and your family and uh, um, your best ones for Christmas. It's um, something, uh, it's an ornament and um, it can look like that. So it's needle felted. It's really, really a uh, cool picture you can felt around the styrofoam ball. Or, or I like my series of like birds. People like birds. See? Something like that. And um, today I'm going to show you how uh, to prepare the ball, the styrofoam ball for needle felting. So uh, what do you need to do? You first need to wet felt merino wool on top of the styrofoam ball. Uh, this is merino on top and the styrofoam ball inside of it. And then you want to take um, maybe watercolor pencils and uh, draw your design on top of this thing, maybe wet it a little through your design. And then you will need your needles for um, needle felting and uh, your collection of uh, colorful yarn, which I have, for example, here. And um, this way you can create uh, your own um, Christmas ornament and keep it for yourself or give it as a gift. So anyway, I'm not going to teach you to needle felt. The only thing I can tell you what materials I'm using. There are lots of needle felting uh, videos online, but I'm going to show you something special. I'm going to, you, to show you how to prepare uh, that styrofoam bowl to start using it and decorate it, okay? So it will take us just a few minutes. So what do you need? We need a styrofoam ball. It's brand new, still in plastic. They sell it in different uh, sizes, so pick whatever you want. They also have different types of styrofoams. Uh, some of them a little bit more durable. Some of them a little bit more soft. I probably prefer a little bit more durable, but keep in mind that um, Sometimes it's just hard to put the needle through that thing, okay? So you have a styrofoam ball. Then you need a pile of very fine merino wool. You can get it in a fiber store, online, Etsy, millions of places. So uh, you will pull a piece of wool like that and uh, Make it even around the whole bowl and use your felting needles. I have that tool that carries three needle, needles. I have that tool that carries five needles. I even have this heavy duty tool which carries uh, seven needles, I think. I ordered it from Germany, I guess. And this is claw, but this is you can buy pretty much anywhere. So I think it's needles number 38, triangle. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to pull that wool, attach this wool to that styrofoam a ball, slowly but surely, and make it all around, and make it all around, and try just to make it even not very thick, not very thin, but I wanted to cover the whole bowl evenly. So I will be doing it for a while and when I'm done I'll show you what to do next. Okay? 
keep watching okay i'm pretty much done i'm just checking it out so everything is even and uh, i have about the same amount of wool around that ball i'm using my heavy duty tool to finish it up and overall you know what i can leave it like that and um, can start uh, decorating and putting a colorful wool on top but um, somehow i like to draw my design first a little and it's a little bit hard to do it when this wool is puffy and also i just wanted to be be sure that it stays there well you know so this is my ball <laughs> look it looks like a snowball and by the way you don't have to use a white one white wool you can uh, grab a, something a little bit more uh, i mean colorful it's up to you it will be like a background of your picture also, I want to say that uh, this didn't come in roving. This came like in bed, but it's still very, very fine. I would say it's about 19 microns, so it felt really, really well. So what am I going to do next? I have some things here. So first of all, I have water. Um, I put some dish soap here, just a couple of drops. I have gloves to protect my hands and then I put a little smoother. I do have a soap bar, it's olive soap which I like to use for wet felting. And I have a couple things to agitate that wool better, it's a bubble wrap and um, it's some interesting tool I just got <laughs> from China, actually. You can see it here, but it has a tiny, tiny bump, just really tiny, just for the finish. So if you never wet felt it, so the trick is when you put water and um, soapy water, a little bit warm, on top of um, wool pile and start rub it around and agitate what happens um, all um, hair catch each, each other and turns in like one piece of fabric you know you can watch other videos on wet felting online or my videos I have a whole bunch I have a whole class there how to make a um, face mask using non felting technique you can watch it or how to make a felted um, case with pinch frame so this is what I'm going to do all I'm going to do I'm just going to agitate it I put it in there it's very, it's very foamy a little bit foamy and all I'm going to do is just going to rub and rub and rub it with my hands for how long I don't know maybe for five minutes maybe less it's very soapy right now, it has lots of foam and actually I like it because this little bubbles they make the wool even more um, felt faster and this is all so I was planning to use my soap but seems like I don't even need a soap I don't have my towel here, <laughs> but I sometimes like to use the towel to clean the table. So I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it for a while. Then I'm going to use bubble wrap. It will even help to agitate it. I can probably put it inside of this bag, right? and then i'm going to take it to the sink and wash it under warm water it will felt even more and i will this way i will clean that soap that soapy wool and uh, see it's, oh, <laughs> jumpy 
so I don't know how much it will help to agitate but I think it's just smooth it out really good and it's interesting how the wool will shrink and it just will stretch around the bowl really nicely and um, so in 10 minutes and 5 minutes it will be done and all we have to do is just like I say wash it under the uh, running water squeeze it a little maybe use some towel and let it dry and um, let's say in a few hours you will have that nice like look like a wool ball and you can start decorating it and you'll get anything you want on it i think this i think this is really pretty i made a little housey here like a winter scene right it can be good you can put some personal thing you can put a letter here or maybe some dog picture or whatever you want and um i like needle felting it uh, i'll just want decided to show you a few, a few pieces i made this is needle felted uh, just on the uh, piece of um, profelt i did it and of course everybody loves my toys <laughs> it's dark and so uh, my dog who travels with me <laughs> everywhere <laughs> Little piggy I made for my daughter. <laughs> She's a dancer. Anyway, needle felting is lots of fun. But uh, this project is very doable. Everybody can do it. And uh, even your children can. Just be careful with your fingers because nails could be very sharp. And enjoy and have fun. And uh, have a wonderful Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.